Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm here in Pasadena, Old Town Pasadena, at the uh, Marengo Charging Plaza, I guess it's part of the uh, Marengo uh, parking lot here. Uh, and I'm at a new, relatively new charging site by Power Up. Pasadena. Uh, it's on the roof of this parking garage and it features 20 50 kilowatt tritium DC fast chargers. That's right, 20 of them. Uh, this is the largest public charging site that I've personally um, ever seen or experienced. Uh, it's, you know, just a high dense concentration of DC fast chargers. And, you know, I, I think this, this is done by the city of Pasadena. There's also a Tesla urban supercharger. Those are the 200 amp uh, Tesla chargers a bank of them in the center here on this top floor and my understanding is when Tesla received approval to put in their superchargers here the city of Pasadena also required them to run conduits and plumb for these other chargers these 20 uh, DC fast chargers now these are linked through uh, green lots or at least they were originally but when I got here, and I don't know if this means they're going through someone else, uh, they're free. it's free charging. And so essentially all I did was I plugged in and pressed start and the charger started. So I don't know how long that's going to, to last. Uh, I, I mean, frankly, they could probably maintain free charging for the rest of the time because they're also charging uh, for using the parking lot. And I have a feeling that people who use these chargers are going to be way more likely to actually stay here for a longer period of time and go basically patronize businesses in the city of Pasadena, which is one of the main reasons to have these chargers here. I consider these uh, DC destination chargers, right? Where sure they could help you on a trip, but if you're stopping to use these chargers, that's not why you're doing it, right? Uh, there, there could be an element where these would also help local drivers uh, who maybe live in, in apartments uh, nearby and don't have access to charging. Uh, but depending on how they end up doing the fee structure, plus the parking fee to get in here and pay, pay for however long you're here, uh, it might be cost prohibitive. Uh, for local city drivers to use this so who knows maybe maybe Pasadena will give residents some sort of a free pass or something like that or or subsidized pass so that uh, Pasadena locals can use these chargers uh, and they won't be cost prohibitive so uh, but that being said though they're like I said they're a great draw uh, you know I I have a lot of history and a lot of memories of Old Town Pasadena spent a lot of time here and uh, yeah this is this is a great opportunity uh, to draw people in it's a very touristy area um, and so for someone like me who no longer lives in the area if I want to come out visit Pasadena, visit friends, this makes it really convenient to do so. Um, and yeah, just overall, like I said, they're, they're tritium chargers. I've seen some weird various counts, um, but based on what I've seen, it's pretty standard. Uh, CCS Chatmo cable, 125 amps. Uh, there are 12 chargers on a bank over here. Uh, and then there are six more on the same side, on the other side of like the cabinets, and then two more at the far end, so a total of 20. And I haven't counted how many uh, Tesla Urban uh, superchargers there are at the center, but it looks like at least 16 to 20 of them as well. Um, but yeah, it's just, it, this is just a, a really sort of refreshing site. Um, and you know, there are level two chargers down below further in the garage, but this is basically, I think Pasadena just sending a message that, hey, we're supporting electric vehicle adoption, and this is a good way to send that message. Uh, so without further ado, let's just jump right into a site score. For access, I'm only going to give this site an eight out of 10. And there are two reasons for that. You know, the most common reason 
I would uh, give dock a point off for access is just competition for spaces. That's not going to be a problem here. Uh, the bigger issue is this is in the top floor of a parking garage that you have to pay to get into. So that is an issue, right? That that in and of itself is an access issue uh, that would dock a point. And then the other thing is these are all just nose in or back in parking, single spaces, no full pull through. I mean, I don't know if you'd be taking a trailer into a parking garage anyway. That's not common in the city, but it's not even an option here. So that's the other point that's getting docked off. Uh, so it's just an eight out of 10 for access. Now for amenities, I was trying to, to go back and forth with how I would do this because amenities really, um, I expect sort of on-site uh, services and there aren't really any, but that's not the point of this site, right? The point of this site is to bring you into the city and then you walk uh, an eighth of a mile or a quarter mile, go down the stairs, take an elevator, go out on Colorado Boulevard, and you patronize those businesses, right? Uh, so I think the point is just to bring you here and then you just disperse from here and use whatever amenities that you want to use. Uh, but that being said, they're, they're lacking amenities at this point. So I'm only giving this an eight out of 10 for amenities. And the first is, you know, there's no covering. This is a roof of a parking garage, sure, but we have how many DC fast chargers? There's no reason that a, the top of this roof shouldn't just have a canopy of solar panels, enough to, to maybe offset a decent amount of the power that's being drawn here, uh, and also shading the, the top, because the, the lower floors you have shade, you don't have shade at this top level. And then uh, the other thing is, like I said, there's no immediate uh, amenities right here. So no squeegees, no bathroom, no food, all of those things you have to walk to, right? Uh, so those are, those are the two reasons I'm docking two points and it's getting an eight out of 10 for amenities. Now for site concentration, I'm giving it a full 10 out of 10. Now, some of you might say, well, holy cow, there are 20 DC fast chargers. Shouldn't it be even more? Well, my amp doesn't go to 11, but the other thing is, and I've tried to state this in other, in other review videos and just kind of reiterate this, to me, the magic number is 12. And, you know, I, I kind of just came to that uh, you know, just sort of arbitrarily. But the reason for it is you have to have a hard stop somewhere and there's a point at which you would rather have a new charging site than more chargers at a single site. And perhaps 20 is the right number for this location or 20 plus however many t Tesla superchargers there are. Uh, but it's still, you sort of maxed out my allotment of points for site concentration. Uh, you're more likely to be blocked by icing or just a full parking lot here than you are to just not be able to access one of these chargers uh, because there are 20 vehicles charging at them. Uh, so basically this is a perfect score as far as site concentration goes, uh, but that's sort of the cap. So it's a 10 out of 10 for site concentration. Now for location, I'm giving this an eight out of 10. It's not a crucial uh, site and it's, it's not even really a super important site. We're, we're kind of just off of Interstate 210. Uh, you know, that's a pretty well-traveled corridor. Perhaps if someone's traveling, they'll make it, like I said, sort of a destination stop, pull off the freeway, come in here, charge, go grab lunch and, or go shopping in, a, you know, old town Pasadena. I can see that. Uh, but it's not really facilitating travel, uh, but it is slightly more important in that, you know, Pasadena has a lot of multi-unit dwellings, a lot of places that might not have access to charging. Uh, and so I, I'm really seeing this as a help also for local residents. Uh, and, and of course, as tourists coming in and supporting that. Uh, but it's not like it's supporting interstate travel. It's not like it's installed in an area uh, that 
doesn't have any public charging support and so it's only getting an 8 out of 10 for location. Now for speed, it's getting a 5 out of 10. These are 50 kilowatt chargers. Now, I would normally get down on this even more, uh, but like I said, I actually treat these sort of like destination chargers. I would have to guess that the typical time spent here is going to be somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half. There's a lot to do in Old Town Pasadena. It's really easy to lose time. It's really easy to just have fun hanging out with friends. You don't even think about it. You come back, you've been here an hour, hour and a half. And in that way, a 125 amp 50 kilowatt charger might be perfectly appro appropriate. You know, a Bolt EV coming in here with a very low battery could spend an hour and a half to two hours and still maybe not be fully charged, right? Uh, some of these bigger battery electric vehicles that are coming out, the you know the Porsche Taycan, the Audi e-tron, uh, even even the upcoming Mustang Mach E, right? Those are cars that on chargers this speed could sit here for two hours and still not be fully charged even though they were maxing these chargers out the entire time. Uh, and so in that regard, yes, these are slow, but they might be appropriate for this use case in this location. So still though, 125 amp, 50 kilowatt chargers, dead average, five out of 10. So that brings this to a total site score of 39 out of 50. 78 out of 100 right just it's a high c just short of a b and really the the things that would take this to the next level are just very minor things covering over the chargers some sort of shading uh while you're here uh, just slightly faster chargers those sorts of things are things that would uh, bump the score up a little bit uh, but like i said my, my scoring system is is dedicated more towards chargers that are facilitating EV owners moving around and traveling. And I think we almost need to approach this site a little bit differently. Uh, this is a destination site. This is a destination charger. Uh, the speed is really sort of irrelevant. These are, these are here to pull people in, uh, bring them into town. They're fast enough to be compelling, but not so fast that people uh, feel obligated to just sit in their cars and leave 10, 15, 20 minutes later. Uh, so I think I think they actually struck a pretty good balance and I'm pretty impressed with what Power Up Pasadena has done. Uh, like I said, for me, uh, the, the feels are real. Uh, this, there's a lot of memories for uh, Old Town Pasadena. Uh, you know, I'm just happy that Pasadena has put this in. This is a really impressive site. I think it's the largest site, charging site in North America for sure, um, if you include both this and, and the Tesla superchargers. So uh, it, it's, it's definitely the, the largest public charging site uh, in North America that I know of. So, hey, you know, Good job, Power Up Pasadena. Good job, City of Pasadena. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be visiting here again soon. So I'd love to hear what you think. Do you stop through Pasadena? Do you travel through here? Uh, you know, do you visit Old Town Pasadena? Do shopping, maybe go out and grab something to eat? Uh, is this a charger you could see yourself using? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And thank you for watching.